Tanner Tech. Tanner Tech. Tanner Tech. Tanner Tech. Hello, this is Tanner Tech. And today I'm going to be showing you how to build an amplifier out of commonly found items known as VFDs or vacuum fluorescent displays. Now, vacuum fluorescent displays are typically used as screens in applications such as microwaves and VCRs and car stereo systems. Now, these VFDs, though they may be modern, are still basically triode vacuum tubes, which means they have a grid, a filament, and an anode, which means they can be used as triode vacuum tubes, which is what I'll be doing today. I'll be building a miniature amplifier that you can plug into your phone or MP3 player, and it will use these VFD tubes to amplify the sound to be played through a speaker. So, let's get started. Okay. So I'm going to start with the schematic I drew up. So these two tubes you see here are the two VFD tubes that are right here. I'm using the smaller one as the preamp tube, and the larger one as the power amplifier tube. Because since this one has more surface area, it can handle more current, which will make it good for the power amplifier tube. So if you look inside these tubes, you can see that there's a bunch of little lines. And those little lines are the filaments. And the filaments are connected to this wire, to this lead, and this lead. And they require about 3 volts. And then, as you can see, right below the filaments, there are these little plates that are kind of outlining a little section of the digits. And these little plates are the grids, same as the grids in vacuum tubes. And they're connected to this long line of grids which will connect all together in parallel. So that way we can use all of these grids as one collective grid. And then below that, the letters are actually phosphor-coated anodes, which means that they're normal anodes, but they're coated in phosphor. So that way when the electrons strike them, it will cause them to glow. So not only will we be getting some cool amplification in this video, but we'll also be able to get some high-quality vacuum tube amplified sound. These are the materials that you will need. So to build this amplifier, I'm going to use my base plate um, as this piece of particle board. And I, as you can see on here, I drew out the outlines for all the parts I'm using. And I'm also using this little piece of copper as the ground plane. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to solder together all the power supplies. Now it's time to solder all the other parts, like the resistors and the capacitors and the actual amplifier, and to get this vacuum fluorescent display working. As you can see, I wired all the grids together and all the anodes together to create one large common grid and one large common anode. So I'll just connect everything together like it's wired in the circuit diagram. This VFD amplifier is not quite working right. It's not very loud, and I've tried everything, but I can't get it to be any louder. So I hooked up the VFDs in the position they were, with the giant VFD over here, and it wasn't working quite right. I think that's because my transformer isn't supplying the right filament voltage. So I'm going to try something different. I'm going to try the smaller VFD, with the same filament voltage as this VFD. I'm going to switch around the schematic diagram to fix this, with this being the output tube and this being the preamp tube. And they're all going to run off this one little transformer. So I'm going to hook this all up and see if I can make something work. So I'll do a time lapse of me figuring this stuff out and making it work. So this is the final schematic of my VFD amplifier. So I have all the parts in here. What I added is an input audio transformer to protect the iPod or whatever you're playing the music in from the um the all the high voltages of the vacuum tube circuit just in case anything happens. And I also removed the second transformer, so there's only one transformer now that provides the power to the whole circuit. And both tubes 
the filaments are connected in parallel. So, you can look at this schematic diagram if you want to build your own, which, as a disclaimer, I must say that this is a dangerous uh, device. It has many high voltages inside it and many live wires, which would be harmful to the touch. So, let's see what this thing looks like when it runs. This is the finished product of the vacuum tube uh, VFD amplifier. And before we start, I'm going to say one thing. This vacuum tube amplifier is not very loud. Now, this is because the tubes I'm using were meant to be screens, not meant to be amplifiers. So, in order for this to sound loud, I would have to have maybe six or seven stages of these VFDs. That's, that's not something I want to work on right now. So, as of right now, this vacuum tube amplifier is just going to be a proof of concept model that'll show that VFD screens can be used as vacuum tube amplifiers. You can see that these VFDs light up just perfectly. Um, so now, as you can see, the vacuum tube amplifier is running and you can hear through the speaker and it's actually quite loud. So this is being amplified by these two vacuum fluorescent displays and I confirm this in it with an oscilloscope that the input um, amplitude and the output amplitude are different which means there's a gain. So this vacuum tube amplifier works and it actually works pretty well. So I got um, a mariachi band uh, radio channel playing on here and as you can hear it's amplified pretty loud and you might not be able to see it on my camera but the VFD is actually flickering and going lighter and darker to the beat of the music, which is, I think, pretty cool. This VFD amplifier also looks cool at night because it has the bright green uh, vacuum fluorescent displays all glowing, even when it's dark, which makes this amplifier look pretty cool and pretty retro. Well, I kind of like it. So, as always, thank you for watching and please subscribe to Tanner Tech.